Now, it's time to get a quick first look and first drive of a brand new EV. Yes, it's the fifth gear recharged team test. This week, the team tested the BMW iX3. This BMW is the first model that's available with petrol, diesel, or electric powertrains. Prices for the EV start at just under £60,000, while the model we have is closer to £62. It will go up against the likes of Ford's Mach-E, Mercedes EQC, and the Jaguar I-Pace. Believe it or not, it's BMW's second ever electric car. The first one was the i3. This is the iX3. Essentially, it's an X3 powered by lithium-ion batteries. I feel it's a, it's a stopgap to whatever they've got planned for the future, perhaps. 285 miles of range, rear-wheel drive with a single motor mounted at the rear. So it's rear-wheel drive, but it's an X car, and X usually means four by four. Ooh, my brain is scrambled. But it looks good. Yeah. yeah. Come and look at the front. It's still got the kidney grills, but ah. they've sort of made it, like, a bit smoother and a bit, I don't know, a bit nicer than the ordinary kidney grill, I think. I like it. I, it, I think it, that's quite that's nice. That's a good-looking front end, isn't it? They're sunglasses. He's got some shades uh, on. Ah, cool. yes. The annoying thing, though, because it is an X3, is that they haven't used the space very wisely. Let me show you what I mean. Or at least let me try to show you. Mr Chandok. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> oh. In fact, you have to pull the catch twice. Right, so under this, you lift it up. Look how empty that is. Wow. There's Absolute a lot waste. of wasted space there. But, Mate, but that's what awesome. happens when you don't design an I EV mean, car we... from scratch. They could have easily put a compartment for your luggage or the charging cable. It's just a bit of laziness. So obviously this red stuff, this is the don't danger. Don't, 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 don't. That's the danger. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. That's the bad stuff. <laughs> then Vicky spotted the intriguing wheel design. Oh, they've got Batman ears. They have got Batman oh. ears. <laughs> yes! I think the spokes, you know, the Batman style ears, spokes are pretty cool. But, you know, they're there for aerodynamics, efficiency, which electric cars need. Should we have a look at the piece de resistance? Oui. The boot. Look, totally flat load area. Low friction surface to help you slide stuff in there nice and easy. Also, it's a really square shape. Look at that. No wheel arches intruding yeah. in there. It's just easy to get stuff in there. It's just, I it's all nice. I genuinely think your Wikipedia page <laughs> needs to say boot fetish. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some cool bits inside. Go on, let's have a look. Hans Zimmer. What? No, who he is? Hans Zimmer. Hans yeah, the, the music producer. He's, yeah. in, he's, in, he's, he's inside. He's, he's inside <gasps> the car. <laughs> right, let me show you. So I promised you Hans, yes. right? Yeah. So the, the music producer who composed the Lion King, Gladiator, he's done the sound for the iX3. I cannot wait to hear Listen. That's on, and it's off. is that it? And then... Yeah? I mean, it's I like the off more than the on. you know what? If they'd have given me 10 quid, I could have done something similar. He's also done the audio for when you're actually driving in, in different drive modes, but I'll show you that later. Well, but... I cannot wait. What about the quality of the interior? Amazingly, this thing is actually, it's not made in Germany. It's made in China by a company called Brilliance. And you wouldn't know. Everything about it, it's BMW. The door shuts with a nice authoritative thunk. Nice materials, quality, it's refined. Have you guys seen the um, gesture controls on BMW? So you oh, do, have you seen this one? What does that do? It changes the channel. If someone's calling you, you can do that to, like, wave them, like, go away. So it's quite intuitive. I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest. I think it's a bit of a gimmick. Should we go for a drive? Let's do it. BMW claims that it is raising the bar for electric driving pleasure. And first impressions on our private test track were good. It's plenty pokey enough. That's plenty, isn't That's it? Right. Plenty it's all right, yeah. got good grip as well, actually. Yeah, yeah it does, yeah. It's OK in the back. Yeah. yeah. Well, these cars, because they're heavier, they tend to make the, the dampers a bit stiffer to control the body movement, but it's actually not bad. I've driven the Jaguar I-Pace. That's a better handling car. I've driven the Mustang Mach-E. That's a better handling car. This is pretty decent, but it's, it's, not, it's not the best of the best. However, now that we were on the move, we absolutely loved Hans Zimmer. 
That's great. I like that. That might be... I'm on board. That might be the best synthetic noise I've heard. <laughs> the synthetic engine noise is quite brilliant on that car. It completes the emotive feel about driving the car. Right, so the next big thing about this car is it's got a personal assistant built in. You can see on the display there. Ooh. And what's his or her name? Jason Plato. Actually, you can set, you can choose its name yes. for it. I'd like to change your name. Banana Pants. Thanks. I've saved my personal activation word. So now if I say, Banana Pants, wind down all the windows. <gasps> no, oh, me cancel. Oh, cancel, 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 cancel! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we mount the onboard cameras to the rear windows. Take two. Banana pants, wind down the front windows. <gasps> That's you know cool. what? <laughs> Do you know what? I've never thought this voice activation in cars is any good because actually most of it doesn't work, but this actually seems to work, eh? Banana pants. Where could I buy some bananas? Which one of the destinations? Nando's. 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 Time for the scores. It's a good effort, the iX3. It's OK to drive. It's got really good tech. But is it as good as it could be? Not convinced. So on that basis, gets a seven from me. It looks really decent. The inside comfort was good. And I thought the sound quality was very, very good as well from the artificial noise. But I think, really, they need to commit to a full EV platform. So at this stage, I'm going to give it a seven. On the whole, I thought it was good looking, went well. But I just think 60 grand is a bit pricey. I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. I really like it. I love the sound. It drives well. It's got some get up and go. It's going to get a good score. It's going to get an eight. It's going to get an eight which gives the BMW iX3 a team test score of 29 out of 40.